Good evening. Uh, I'm Tom Hastings, and I'd like to welcome you to this event tonight at International Christian University. Uh, we are very pleased to have with us uh, Makoto, or Mako Fujimura, who, as you know, uh, lives in the States, but has spent his life traversing uh, the two geographical and cultural and linguistic areas of Japan and the United States. And uh, we will uh, show a film uh, called Golden Sea, which uh, is about Makoto's work. And then we will have a discussion. And then we will have some time for question and answer. Uh, we are here tonight uh, because we're holding a conference. And several of the colleagues uh, are present uh, from the conference. Uh, called The Presence and Future of Humanity in the Cosmos, Why Society Needs Both the Sciences and the Humanities. This conference is being jointly sponsored by the ICC, which is the Institute for the Study of Christianity and Culture at International Christian University, and the JICUF Foundation, which is the Japan ICU Foundation in New York City. We're very grateful for those two sponsors and our other supporters. And we have gathered scholars from China, Korea, Taiwan, and Japan to discuss issues that cross over between the areas of the cultural domains of science and humanities, uh, including religion. And so we're very grateful to welcome Mako tonight. And he's going to say a few brief words about the film. And then we'll show the film. And then he and I will have a conversation, uh, which you're very privy to. Just consider this a living room. And after our living room conversation, then we will open it up to the floor for questions. So again, welcome and welcome, Mako. Thank you. Thank you. Tom. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so I, uh, the film is very self-explanatory, but. Um, just to set it up for you, um, this film was uh, made by Plywood Pictures, uh, these, the team of three um, that I met as students at NYU Film School. And uh, they wanted to become a documentary filmmaker uh, when they graduated. <laughs> um, so they asked me if I could be their guinea pig. And so they followed me for like five years. So you see footage is in here from um, 2000, 2003, 2004 to um, you know when when the film was yeah so so more than five years, um, and one of the great things they, they you know they are really they really insisted that they come to Japan with me and travel with me, which meant um, we had to raise more money. And um, I'm so glad they did that, as you see. I mean, it's just as much about Japan as it is about my, my career. And my gallery in New York wanted to um, have a premiere of this in New York City. And uh, every time I see it, what I'm grateful for is, is uh, the interview that the film has of my father a renowned scientist and uh, born in Boston because um, my father was doing his postdoc research with Noam Chomsky. And he brought generative grammar theory into Japan and taught, taught at uh, uh, Tokyo University. Um, while um, I grew up, uh, was born in Boston, went to Sweden, and then <coughs> went to grade school in Kamakura. So Kamakura is really formative for my aesthetic, and you see Kamakura film there, and that's also a kind of a portrait of uh, us. And so there's my father. There's uh, so much influence and confluence going on in the film, um, and um, the the studio you see is my current studio in Princeton. We used to have my studio in New York City, and we used to live in New York City for a long time. We raised our children there, and um, 15 some years. And we lived right by the World Trade Towers. So 
obviously, that was a really bad day, uh, September 2001. Um, but um, we were spared, and um, uh, part of my journey, what's implicit in the film is, is that that process of restoration and healing is part of my art, um, uh, because he was healed. So please enjoy the film, and uh, we'll have more conversation afterwards. Thank you.